can see I'm gorgeously dressed. So this video is a tutorial of how I made this beautiful dress. Mm -hmm. How do I look? How do I look? This video is loaded with lots of sewing techniques. You will learn how to drape with fabric strips like this. You will learn how to make a rude skirt. You know, those ones with drawstrings, those outfits that you get to drag to adjust the lens. Just relax, grab your popcorn and your drink and enjoy this video. But most importantly, make sure you practice, practice. You cannot watch into perfection. It's not possible, you have to practice. Special welcome to every newbie in here. If you're new here, this is Kema Freak. My name is Kemi Morube. I'm honored to have you here. Please click on the subscribe button and make sure you click on the notification bell. It's just right beside the subscribe button. So that way, every time I upload a new video, you get notified. In this channel, we discuss the business side of fashion. We give tutorials. Just one big family. I also upload vlogs on my daily life every now and then. That's just an icing to the cake. So don't go anywhere without subscribing. Like, I'm serious. If you're an old subscriber, thank you for sticking with me. I appreciate your presence here. Without further ado, let's get to work. Here is the pattern I'll be working on. It's an off-shoulder pattern. I made a tutorial on this previously. I'll link it up above and in the description box. Before I get started, I'll need to close the bust that. If you haven't watched that tutorial, please go and watch it. It will be in the description box. That will tutorial will put you through how to create a pattern for an off shoulder bodies and even the sleeve pattern so this is the front pattern and i have the pattern for the back piece right here i'll be transferring these two pieces on fabric and while doing that i'll be adding the corresponding seam allowances i'm adding half an inch at the top and the side and the bottom of this center front part of the front pattern so and also on the side um, piece for the front I'll be adding half an inch along this bust curve half an inch at the bottom of the pattern one inch along the side and half an inch at the top and the armhole part of this pattern I'll be repeating something similar for the back pattern so while transferring the back pattern I added one inch at the side then half an inch seam allowance at the bottom, the top and the armhole curve while at the zip allowance part of things I didn't add any allowance of course the zip allowance is already an allowance so once I'm done transferring this to fabric I will proceed to notch the bust line and the under bust line for the front part this is going to guide me when I'm stitching these two pieces together eventually so before proceeding, I marked out the pattern for the cup because I'll be attaching a wording to this. You can also make use of an already made breast cup, but I just marked 3.5 inches around my bust point. So I marked out the side pattern for the wording I'll be cutting. Then on the center front pattern, I just marked 3.5 inches from the bust point and drew a curve to the center of the pattern so that's because i'll be attaching a full wording that will extend from one bust point to the other so there's no need to draw anything circular i just hope i'm making sense so i'm cutting out the side cup right there and i'll proceed to transfer this to fabric and while doing this i'm not adding allowance on the sides of the cup but i'll need to add on the bust line part of the cup that's why it's good that you label this so you don't mix things up so just the way i added half an inch along the bust line for my fabric i added half an inch to this cup as well now here is the fabric i just cut i went ahead to steam press a fusible interfacing on it and now i'm placing my wording making sure that i match the notch on the wording with that of the fabric i will proceed to sew these pieces together by half an inch so while doing that, you have to ensure that the notch at the bust point correspond for the center piece and the side pieces. So now I'll be cutting out strips of fabric that I will use to create um, a drip on the front of this piece. So um, I marked out three inches width of fabric. First, you need to put the fabric on bias so that it has a little stretch. This is going to help your strips to relax properly on the bodies. 
so for the front piece because my fabric was on fold i kind of marked just 1.5 inches so that when i open it up you have three inches and then subsequently i'm cutting out three inches width of fabric so i'm the length i didn't measure the length i'm just cutting long strips because i'll be slitting this as we place on fabric so you're going to see the entire process next here is my piece so far i've attached the pieces for the front together and i'll proceed to pin this on the dress form so if you don't have a dress form you can simply place fabrics on the cup region to help elevate the cup region and you stretch out your fabric so that you can attach the strips to it so once i'm done pinning this to a dress form i proceeded to attach the strips of fabric remember we had three inches right so i folded it and gave it a good press you can also attach feasible interfacing to this if you want some firmness but i didn't want this piece to become heavy okay i just wanted it to be a simple easy way without so much weight so now i'm attaching the strips to the fabric before doing that i marked out the center line on the dress so far and I'll just be extending this strip to go beyond that center line and I'll use my scissors to cut out the excess. Then I've, I first worked on the left, now I'm working on the right and I'm lapping the right strips, strip over the left, pinning it down like I did for the first one. Then the next one will be on the left again and the right. I'll just be alternating between the left and the right side, lapping each strip over the other. So this will give like a cascade along the center front of the dress. Here's the finished look so far. The next step will be to stitch each of these strip onto the main bodies. And I'll be doing that using hand stitching with a needle and a thread. So you have to ensure that they lap very well while stitching in such a way that the thread won't be obvious on the outside. So that way each pleat covers up the thread underneath. Once I'm done stitching, I'll set this aside. Now here is the skirt pattern which I'll be transferring onto fabric. I have a one inch extra at the center front right there. That's because I intend to create a drawstring along the center front. Now I'm cutting out my fabric, adding allowances. I added one inch seam allowance, hemming allowance, one inch side seam allowance, and I'll be adding half an inch at the top. So I'm just splitting open that center front because we have two separate pieces for the front piece. Here is the back pattern which I'm transferring to fabric and I'm adding one inch side seam allowance like I did for the front, half an inch at the top of the pattern and one inch at the hem of the skirt. So for the back, because of the zip allowance, we have two separate pieces. Now here is the front piece, which I'll be stitching by one inch. Remember that one inch we left at the center front. So I'll be stitching these two together by one inch seam allowance. After I'm done, I'll open up, give it a good press, and we'll have something similar to this. Here I'm done stitching together. And like I said, I'll open up these two and go give it a good press. Then I'll mark out the dart point and go seal my dart down, both for the front and for the back piece. So this is what I have here. You can see I've sewn the dart for the front piece and we have this. I haven't given it a press here, but I'll do that and open up this seam allowance. I've giving my press my skirt a good press so i'm opening up the seam allowance and i'll be sewing down the edge of that overlocking i did i'll be sewing it up stitching on the piece here is the rope i created from the same fabric and we'll be using this to 
create a drawstring on the skirt part of this outfit so i've ironed open my seam allowance here and top stitch on the skirt and you can see the seam lines even on the right side like this so i'll be using my um, safety pin to pass the rope into the channel created on the skirt so I'll do that on the both sides so that we will have two ropes on either side of the skirt. At this point, I wasn't intending to let the rope out through the hem of the skirt. That was why I didn't fold the hemming allowance first. But at some point I decided to do that. So I actually folded in that hemming allowance before um, inserting the, the ropes into the channel i created so back to the bodies so this is the front bodies again we have the back bodies here and i've fixed the darts and fused in um fusible interfacing that's before fixing the darts now i'll be attaching the lining of the back piece to the main fabric by half an inch along the neckline that i've also sewn in the darts on the bodies let's quickly create the sleeve here i have this piece of organza on fold it is 21 inches long and 36 inches wide i have two of this piece so this is what you have when you open it up so the measurement i took is when you open it up not on fold so i'm just splitting that top open so that i have two separate pieces one for each side of the sleeve so i'll proceed to fold into two again and i'll take out the back pattern because i just want to trace what i have there but before i start cutting i'm marking one inch above so I'm, that won't be part of the sleeve curve because i intend to fold that part in so i just left about one inch allowance there before placing the back pattern and i just followed the curve i have on the back armhole curve so right there i have my sleeve it's as simple as that i'll go ahead to fold in that one inch allowance i left at the top i will fold twice like this this will serve as a channel for the elastic band i'll also be sewing in the hemming allowance okay i ended up making a tiny hemming allowance not up to half an inch okay so now i'm done sewing that one inch at the top of the sleeve i'm now inserting the elastic strip into the channel i created at the top of the sleeve so the elastic strip i'm using is just about eight inches long just enough to go through my upper arm once i was done with this i secured it with pins and i'll be sewing it onto the upper bodies this is the front piece again and i'll just take the armhole curve of the sleeve and sew it onto the armhole curve covering it up with the lining like this so that way by the time i open up this seam we have a neat finishing on the inside i'll do the same thing on the other side so the other side of the sleeve i'm stitching onto the back piece the same way i did with the front the armhole to the armhole covering it up with the lining like this and sewing by half an inch this is what we have so far the sleeves are attached to the front and the back piece I will now proceed to attach the skirt part onto the top half of the dress. I will be sewing along the waistline by half an inch. So I will do it separately for the front and also the two pieces of the back. So note that this skirt part has no lining, okay? So I only inserted lining to the upper part and that's because I wanted to cover up the cup. So this is what I have. I used the lining of the upper part to turn the seam inward like so now i'll be fixing a zip at the back piece along the zip allowance and i'll go ahead to sew the side seams together by the allowance i added while cutting which is one inch but you can go ahead and measure all the same so i did all that behind the scene and this is what i have as my final look I forgot to mention that I ended up attaching another elastic strip just about 3 inches above the hem of the sleeve. I just did that by dragging an elastic strip and sewing down a straight stitch. 
so that way it created like a gathered effect along the elbow of the sleeve I love the fact that this sleeve can be worn in two ways as an off shoulder or a regular shoulder sleeve. I hope you have found this video helpful. Please drop your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. I'll be going through them and replying accordingly. Thank you for watching this far. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly do that and please give this video a thumbs up. It will go a long way to help other people discover this channel. Alright. This is where we close the curtains.